Greta, how are you? Oh, I'm good. It is very good to see you again. You and me were a team, huh? Yes. Do you know about fist bumping? Do you, do you believe in fist bumping? Yes. <laughs> you can do the do the. Well, uh, first of all, she's uh, speaking uh, not only to the young people, but she's speaking to everybody. You included. You know, the heat is increasing, you know, sea levels are rising, people are dying because of pollution, water pollution, air pollution, and all this stuff, and people are angry about it. So I think they're listening, and I, th I think that she has really caught on, because so many times ordinary people say, well, the government should do it. What, what, what power do I have? But well, it's the wrong attitude because people power is actually more powerful than government. Oil is used to make so-called pet coke, which can be used in furnaces to make steel. Your hummers are made of steel too. Bad, bad, bad. And so it is important when you see that the government may fail, I think they should know that you can buy an electric car. We bought an electric car three years ago thinking, you know, wow, we're going to fix this. But we cannot buy electrical cars. We cannot own cars at all. If we are serious about the 1.5. They, they should know that there is smart meters that you can turn off your air conditioner or your heating system and everything during the day while you're gone. And you're just going to phone and you just dial it in and you can turn off you. So there's many new technologies that are available today. Schwarzenegger is connected to the Kennedy family. He's a politician. He was governor of California. He invests in not so environmental friendly activities. Like them all. And many more we don't know in details. The very same film industry isn't very much eco-friendly. Schwarzenegger bought a private golf stream jet. He lobbied in general to produce a Humvee for civilians. Not exactly eco-friendly and consumption-aware vehicles. In 2010, he owned one regular Hummer and three other using one biodiesel, one hydrogen, and another one vegetable oil. He also bought a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse and a Mercedes G-Class modified for all-electric drive. Having more than one car, zero according to Svante Thunberg, defeats the purpose. Not only because of the steel they are made of and the example the lifestyle settles, but also because the cost for the environment isn't zero at all. Hydrogen cars produce H2O, which is worse than CO2 for the greenhouse effect. Biodiesel cars also emit CO2. They say it is absorbed back from the plants needed to produce it. But is the balance really zero? After the election, Schwarzenegger signed an executive order, which granted $91 million to the building of hydrogen refueling plants. Just remember that there are huge interests in pushing the green agenda by companies which invested in alternative fuel and technologies that people believe are better than the bad. Bad, bad oil. Which is, however, still heavily needed in many manufacturing processes, including those needed to make the cars Schwarzenegger owns. He isn't a good example. But he decided to jump on the Greta's bandwagon because it resonates with his public acts, not with his private life. A similar discourse can be done with Leonardo DiCaprio. As you can see in another video of mine. Because your activism and concern can mobilize all of society. And where society goes, politicians and negotiators will have to follow and so my request to all of you is very clear. Keep up the pressure. Don't give up. Do not relent. Let the world know that you are watching and that you are acting. The climate crisis will demand action and change from all of us. And you can lead it. And we count on you to lead today so we may all enjoy a better tomorrow. You have my profound admiration and my full support. And I thank you very much. XR, FFF, Sunrise, they are not resistance movements, they are United Nations weaponized men and women. PCC, which GREE too often cites, is an organ of the United Nations. Let's take
take a look at the United Nations website. Sorry, Grecia. They connect the world with airplanes. Here it is, the leadership of Guterres, the Secretary General. The decisions we make here will ultimately define whether we choose a path of hope or a path of surrender. We have the tools, we have the science, we have the resources. Let us show we also have the political will that people demand from us. Past Secretaries General, at least since Kofi Annan, promoted the same agenda. Let's see. For the first time, we are trying to get the world's attention on the fact that climate change is not something waiting to happen, waiting to have an impact. It is impacting seriously lives of many people around the world, mainly the poor, but it can hit anywhere. Um, we've seen it in Australia with 10-year drought. We've seen as I said, incredible floods here in England. We all need to be aware that it is happening and take measures to adapt. Over the last few years, we have seen concerted action to tackle poverty and inequality across our planet. The international community came together to agree on the Millennium Development Goals to spread prosperity, improve health, and put our world on a path towards sustainability. We are now seeing a growing awareness of the threats of climate change and need to reduce emissions of the heat-trapping gases that are causing it. Science tells us that preventing the most severe impact of climate change needs action now to cut greenhouse gas emissions by around 80% by 2050. But even this radical action will not prevent a rise in global temperatures, increase in sea levels, and frequency of severe droughts and storms over the next decades. Climate change is not a future threat. It is already happening and is having a damaging impact on the lives of millions of people. So we need to take steps now to manage the changes on the way and prepare for the unavoidable changes ahead. The United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. We are here in Cancun to make progress on all fronts in the climate negotiation. At the same time, we need to need to dramatically increase actions that will help to prevent runway climate change and strengthen climate resilience. As you know, when I became Secretary General, I made the climate change one of my top priorities. The United Nations Secretary General has ended a six day visit to the Pacific, making an urgent plea for action on climate change. Ban Ki moon has returned to Australia for meetings in Canberra and to inspect the work of federal police. He says he leaves the region with no doubt that the world needs to act to save Pacific nations from the effects of rising sea levels. Standing on the shore of Kiribati, I said, High tide shows it's a high time to act. We are running out of time. claimed vegan burgers help tackle catastrophic climate change by reducing greenhouse gases. Conveniently, Al is also a major investor in a firm called Beyond Meats, and according to Climate Depot, he and his partners stand to rake in millions, possibly even billions, if our governments do follow the UN's advice and start introducing policies to reduce our meat consumption in order to tackle the climate emergency. Um. Some people say that the climate crisis is something that we would have created, but that is not true. Because if everyone is guilty, then no one is to blame, and someone is to blame. <coughs> some people, some companies, some decision makers in particular, have known exactly what priceless values they have been sacrificing to continue making unimaginable amounts of money. And I think many of you here today belong to that group of people. Let me go, go.
home, don't quit, come on, drop that ass like you took a little shh. Shit's gonna be a long night, huh? yeah. Keep me freaking with the wrong night. If a man keep looking like he looking there, about to be a motherfucking club fight. Club, but I ain't tripping, keep tipping, collar popping. Is you with me? I can get it pretty drizzy from me knocking all the bottles back. Call it back where the party at. Tell me which one of these I should have started at. This is only the tip of the iceberg. If you observe carefully, you'll start to see the dots, and then you'll be able to connect them. There's a design. And we are in the middle of a storm. Thanks for watching.